floor to His Excellency Jitendra Singh, Minister of Earth, Science of India. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Namaste from India. I stand before you this afternoon on behalf of India to present before this august audience Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision to preserve oceans, to conserve oceans, to protect oceans, and to sustain the ocean resources. I am indeed feeling honored to address this assembly on the UN Conference on Sustainable Development Goal 14. And we owe to thank Portugal and Kenya, the co-hosts, for organizing this conference and also greatly appreciate the initiative taken by the President of the UN for mobilizing sport for this important Sustainable Development Goal soon after the abetment of pandemic that we have gone through recently. Ladies and gentlemen, the ocean, as all of us know, covers over 70% of the planet, supports our life source and that of every other organism on the surface of the earth. The ocean works as a huge reservoir of heat and plays an important role in moderating the weather and the climate. The ocean is also responsible for almost half of the oxygen inhaled and also plays a pivotal role in the carbon cycle. The ocean is also the home to most of Earth's biodiversity and is the main source of protein for more than a billion people around the world. And above all, the ocean is also key to our economy with an estimated 40 million people getting employed through ocean-based industry in the years to come, precisely by the year 2030. As per the COP resolutions, India, under Prime Minister Modi, is putting in all efforts to protect at least 30% of our lands, our waters, our oceans, and thereby adhere to the commitment of 30 by 30 by the year 2030. India has, under Prime Minister Modi, unveiled a new vision. Led by the Prime Minister, we are in the process of rolling out blue economic policy. And the deep ocean mission is being implemented by the Ministry of Earth Sciences under the Government of India. Ladies and gentlemen, Sustainable Development Goal 14 addresses some of the challenges faced by the life underwater. And India has taken several initiatives, programs, and policy interventions through different ministries and departments to protect the marine and coastal ecosystems, mangroves, and coral reefs. India partners with many countries in the areas of integrated ocean management and framework for marine spatial plans for sustainable development and conservation of our ecosystems. India has also proposed to establish sustainable coastal and ocean research institute to meet the needs and aspirations of the Pacific Island countries. And before I conclude, I read, read that India, under Prime Minister Modi, is committed to the coastal clean seas campaign and has declared that India, by in the next few years, will soon achieve complete ban on single-use plastic. And one of the best examples of this is the gradual phasing out of plastic and polythene bags to be replaced by jute bags, the cotton bags, the cloth bags. The research to gather scientific data and information on marine litter in different matrices, that is coastal waters, sediments, 
beaches, etc., as a part of the formulation of a national policy, has already begun. India, I am glad to share with this audience, has a well established collaboration and partnership with UN agencies and research institutions for bridging the methodology and data gaps on SDG indicators and for working towards UN Decade of Ocean Science and Sustainable Development 2021 to 2030 for clean, healthy, productive, safe and accessible ocean. And finally, I end by assuring you, ladies and gentlemen, that under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, India would be providing science and innovation-based solutions for the world, for the implementation of Goal 14 through partnerships and environmental-friendly solutions. Namaste once again, and thanks for your patient listening. I thank the Minister.